Hey guys, so one reoccurring issue I've had with this trailer is this, hi Charlie, is this cupper is really wobbly. And um, I actually ordered a new coupler for it that came with new bolts and I thought that would take care of most of my issues here. So, and it does the same thing. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is my old coupler that I just repainted in my last video on this trailer. And it had these grade eight bolts with nylock washers. This trailer doesn't have a ton of tongue weight. When you would hit bumps, you would feel this bounce, I guess, for lack of better words, that play. Charlie wants his ball thrown. He's kind of obsessed. So. Um, I really like this coupler, actually. Um, this is like a front. It latches and slides back. Um, it's got like the latch, I guess the, the lever here on the front. So, um, I was going to drill it out and put bigger bolts in. I looked at these bolt holes on there. They looked a little egg-shaped to me. Not really, but just, I mean, you can almost tell. If you look at it long enough, or you imagine it, or whatever. Um, so, I ordered this, which is a brand new Kurt 14,000 pound, which is the same, they're both 14,000 pound uh, couplers. And this one came with brand new bolts um, that are also grade eight. And these ones have like an indent made with the press so that when you tighten them down, they won't back off. So I put the first one in and I was like, oh, that already feels like there's no play on that top bolt. So you slide your second one in and I haven't tightened these down yet, but I can tell you from, from having the other one that tightening them down doesn't make a big difference. And we have less play, but still a lot. And um, this is another section of, of the multi-channel coupler that I got. And you can see, you can hear that, that, that windles around in there. Yeah, about the same as these. Maybe even, um, you know, maybe even more in this new one. So I guess that's just the way it is, but I don't like that. I don't like feeling it. And I don't know any way around it. But this coupler is actually backwards of that other one. It, you pull you pull up on the back of it, set up on the front. Watch out, Bear. Watch out. Bear. Here. Here, bud. Here. Yeah, you want to be a movie star. Here, bud. You have to drop. Okay. You're hopeless. All right, go, go, get out of here. Um, now it's all wet. But I, you know, I don't really know the way to fix this the right way. Um, I was gonna take these into the 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 hardware store and get the next size up. But then I was looking at this, and like you drill that out for the next size up, and look how much ear you have left around this like it's not much um, and they rate these style at 14,000 so you know you look at the the holes on your coupler and they're you know they're pretty much in the same shape um, and just like those multi-position channels you drill this out one size bigger I mean this is all solid steel in the back if you can tell it's all very thick solid steel so I don't even think that the drill bit would hit that you just enlarge it on this side but, you know, this is my main concern. You drill this any bigger, and you're, uh, you're taking away strength from that. So, I don't know. They, um, I saw Northern Tools has, um, I think it's Northern Tools has uh, these adjustable mount couplers that have three holes. And I think that would take a lot of the stop out. But my luck, I'm going to get it. All three holes would fit the same way, and the thing's still going to shake around. So for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and install the new one and these new bolts that take a lot of the slop out and it'll just be, you know, like the best, the best uh, that I can do with what I got. And I'll keep looking for a better solution. Um, so the way these are, like the way these are set up, they're designed to run out of thread right as that tightens down so that you can't. Like, I guess strip the threads out is what they're worried about. So you can't really run them down like much tighter. 
Um, I had a couple, I had a trailer like this in the past that was loose side to side and I just shimmed it with washers and that worked fine. But I can't really shim this movement. Although I guess I could put a shim in back here. Maybe I'll do that. See how that, that's rotating until this hits the back of that channel. So maybe I can, uh, actually, you know what I could do? Uh, if I drilled this and welded a nut in, I could uh, put a bolt in through that. And then this would come back and hit that bolt. The only downside of that is then you'd have the full weight of this um, pushing on that bolt. I guess if you put it on the bottom pushing, then it would be like this all the time. So the weight wouldn't be on the bolt. The weight would still be, this would still bear the full force of that. So that's, I think that's what, that'd be a good idea. Just drill this here right here, weld a nut in. I'll have to repaint it red. So we just painted this trailer. And then that would take all that slop out once we torque that bolt down. Put some Loctite or, or a lock washer on it or something. Yeah, all right. Well, at least we got a plan now. Man, tell you what, these Milwaukee fuel drills are no joke. The fuel series, they're brushless. They'll break your wrist if you don't pay attention. I want to try and clean some of that metal up that's around this thing. And it doesn't really matter if the hole is slightly oversized since this is going to get a not welded to it anyway. There we go. And the reason I, want, I don't want that metal there is I'm going to try and use this wire brush to take that paint off and clean up this area. things happened I got busy it's nighttime and I want to finish welding this so that we can put our coupler back on so I don't want to run the bolt any further out so it didn't get any spatter on it so I'm gonna to have to put a pair of pliers on the back side of it and then we are going to weld that up So the coupler's on and it doesn't move because these bolts are tight. But as soon as you start putting uh, weight on it with a trailer, it's probably going to start moving. So that's where this... So you can see that coupler, I don't know if you saw it there, it moved up just a little bit. I felt it with my hand. <clears throat> so we could double nut this if we need to, if it's backing off. But all that's doing is forcing this coupler up. So the trailer weight is still resting the back of this coupler into the back of this channel it's still bearing on these bolts all that's doing is taking up that slop and you can see how tight that is and this is a brand new coupler it should grip the ball nice and tight um, and that we should have no more um, no more bouncing over bumps and stuff hopefully that'll be a thing of the past now that this is on there so that is another thing done on this trailer